Your life is your epic journey. You're a hero in your journey, learning who you are. And you learn that by knowing what you don't want. When we're young, we do a lot of crazy stuff, most of us. And we learn through all that crazy stuff what it is we don't want to do anymore because it brings us grief, most probably, depending on how bad it is. But at least we know, okay, I don't want to do that anymore. That doesn't bring me peace. And so as we get older and we are wiser, we know what to avoid. In our Western society, we have so many choices. It makes it hard to choose. But as you start to sift through what it is that you don't want, the choices will become clearer and easier. We also have the monkey mind in the Western world that's thinking, 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 thinking all the time. So by being clear with yourself on what it is that you don't want, it will also bring you a peace of mind. Everywhere we go and all the people we meet are our teachers. So the good exchanges with people, they are our teachers too, but they don't teach the lessons as well as the bad experiences. The bad experiences require us to overcome something and that way we really learn the lesson. That's also part of the things that we don't want to do. This also ties in with the Wu Wei philosophy, which is um, the philosophy of non-action. So in this case, I would call it the wait and see. When you practice Wu Wei and you wait and see how a situation evolves, then you will be ready to act according to the situation without doing anything that you don't want to do. So wait and see is a great way to bring more peace into your life. Because sometimes if you wait, you might not even have to act. The situation might resolve itself. That's also the idea that don't worry about something until it happens. A lot of us worry, 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 and then it never comes to be. And then you lost a lot, a lot of energy. So practicing the wait and see, Wu Wei non-action, that might save you some heartache or some upset feelings. So let me know in the comments below of any, anything you've done that you know you don't want to do again. Uh, for example, um, I can think of when I was a teenager and I was pretty upset when I lost marks for a paper because I wrote in the margins and I didn't want to copy it all out again. And so I decided to put it in a garbage can and burn it. Nothing bad really happened. The police came in about 15 seconds to tell me to stop. So I learned that burning your report in a garbage can is something I don't want to do so that I don't get in trouble. And so let me know what you have learned so that you are at more peace with yourself and you are wiser and you know how to make better decisions throughout your life. And enjoy your epic journey through life. See you in the next one. Thank you.